this is making a choice, right? Maybe some of you are choosing you. Like, no, I love myself enough and I know my worth and I know my value. I'm choosing me. I'm not going to think twice about it because that's what those negative thoughts with this uh, sun card in reverse, not being very um, straight up about stuff, right? Um, you, some of you may have been in a space where you talked yourself into staying with somebody because you didn't think you were worth enough. I'll be damned. 25 cent pinwheel cookies. Hmm? But I, I'm really getting here that this has a lot to do with you finally see that someone just didn't, y'all just didn't, y'all didn't mesh like you thought y'all did. Or there may even be a situation where you didn't, you realize that you keep attracting the same type of situations in your life because your values are all fucked up, right? Now you have all these coaches out here that tell you um, all these things to do. Um, to be a better use and get a better partner and shit like that, even with jobs or whatever, child, I don't know. But at the end of the day, if you don't, if you don't go, uh, go through it, people can tell you all day long. It's the same way you got to intern when you um, get your, your law degree. It's the same way you got to intern when you get your doc, doc uh, um, become a doctor. You got to intern. They can give you all the information in the world, but you know, if you don't get out here in the field and, and figure it out, you, you got information for nothing. Okay. So that's what I really feel like. There's some new ideas and concepts coming up, coming through here. Um, I really feel like you may find out some information that is going to change up some things. That's the primary lesson here. Um, really doing some studying, taking up a new line of study as well. But also with the sun card in reverse, it's like you maybe um, are learning not to be, because I feel like this is the opposite, not to be overly optimistic. Because again, you got you paging through 2022. 2022 is about you learning. And your, your learning is going to come in so many different ways. So it's about like not being overly optimistic to really just, okay, I learned this new way. It's like the page of swords is like um somebody who just got a sword and want to fence. Like you can't, I can't fence with nobody that just took three or four classes, boy. What are you doing? Right? I'm not on that level to be fencing with you like that or going back and forth or wanting to debate or whatever this is that comes up. Like it, I even feel like someone may be learning something and trying to become a, um, a coach and or expert in something before actually getting all of the information. So you want to be careful with that. Okay. Because, excuse me, because that can be very um, dangerous. Okay. But that, um, you know, being gullible to, you know, the facts, it's going to be part of your primary lesson for 2022, okay? Now, what will be the impact of this lesson? I'm telling you, I think y'all in a relationship. I might have called them the police next year. Now, this Knight of Cups, the impact of this lesson is because someone has an overactive imagination. Somebody is a finesse guard. Um, I really feel like this has a lot to do. This is this is the gaslighter of gaslighters because something about people that can, it's one thing for people to manipulate you mentally only. It's a whole other game if they manipulate your emotions. Emotional abuse is very, very dangerous, okay? But this is someone who is very jealous. The impact of you putting yourself first is going to make someone very moody, very um, standoffish. This is going to make this person uh, get so far up into their ego that they may begin to drink. They may already drink a lot. But this is someone who justice is going to prevail because you stood up for yourself because the Knight of Cups is under the lovers, okay? So the Knight of Cups is, Knight of Cups is under the lovers. Whoever this is, they make up shit anyway. This is the worst type of uh, emotional manipulator. Okay, because they feel something ain't right. You know how y'all women be doing this shit. I feel like you've been doing this and that and this. And, and they create this whole damn storyboard. Okay, create this entire gigantic storyboard from beginning to end. Okay, they didn't have a lot of time to sit up and make create this big gigantic storyboard. And it's like you think it to yourself, like shit, if I knew how to do all that, I'd be a badass motherfucker. But they are creating this. 
This is someone who was probably emotionally abused themselves, or they may have been uh, physically abused, and they learned how to emotionally manipulate like this because of all the drinking and traveling in between realms and getting all this fucked up information from attachments and shit. Move forward. So you have the justice card under the page of swords with the um, impact of the lesson that the, the, uh, the impact of what you're going to learn from this primary lesson. What you're going to learn is that the truth is the truth. Everything has a cause and effect. You're learning this on a whole other level. You're learning the law is the law. I also feel like if you're going to divorce this person or you're doing a spiritual divorce from this person, if you're just deciding to um, release yourself from this person to relinquish control over your own life, your own mind, your own body, your own soul, it's gonna happen. Okay, let me clarify it because I could be lying, y'all. Or I could be lying, honey. But this is really giving me relationship right here. Okay, I'm gonna do Sage. Undecided, undecided. Should I stay or should I go? Can I work on myself and, and then hopefully they'll get themselves together or what have you? This could be your coworkers too. I, I, could, I could just work on myself. You can't heal in an environment that made you sick, baby. That's absurd. That's like saying, oh yeah, I'm just gonna give me a breathing machine and hurt this as, as best dose. Ain't that what it's called? I'm, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get a breathing machine. Like what the fuck are you doing? You need to get the fuck out of there. That's what you need to do, sell the place. The fuck, somebody buy it? So this is indecision when it comes to do I do I settle this or do I just, you know, do I stay here? Do I go? Do I um, continue to give in to this? Because then you got the two of pentacles under the sun card, which is multiple priorities. This is a lot going on. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to weigh the pros and cons of stuff. Which way do I go? What do I do? That's that indecision. That's the indecision. Opportunity, opportunity beckons. The door open. The window of opportunity. This door is open. It's a, it's one of them old school steel knobs, or I don't know what them things, brass or whatever. Them old school knobs with the keyhole. It's on the doors don't open. It's on you if you leave out because it's like you got to do things that you got to do things according to a certain uh, in a certain type of way. Okay. That's what this is. This is this. That's what's happening. An opportunity is being presented to you with this lesson that is that you have for 2022 about really, you know, realigning with your true values or what it is that you value. If you're a diamond, what it is that you value at this time. Right. So, yeah, sweetie, it's going to the truth will prevail. Justice is served. And anytime justice comes out, you already know that's a major arcana. That's a major event happening. That is also. Um, when you get into this back and forth with yourself about um, the information that you've learned or the way that the direction that you want to go or this new study that you have or what have you, it's going to even out. It's universal laws at, at play. Whatever this is, it's not, if it's not happening, it has to happen to those who resonate with it, okay? Okay. <clears throat> What challenges will arise because of this over um, active Knight of Cups? And, and, and the Knight of Cups could even be you and how you look at the world. The Knight of Cups could be you with your unrealistic goals and um, realizing that, you know, that's first, that's that self love has a lot to do with that. Honey, let me tell you something. My nose is itching, honey. Self love has a lot. You realizing your true worth and value has a lot to do with jealousy. If you are the jealous type, if you um, have all these, um, oh, he's going to change, she's going to change, and you begin to do all this stuff and they ain't showing you no kind of change, that's that Knight of Cups energy. You building sandcastles, bitch. So if this is not someone who is emotionally manipulative, this is you out in the world with your overactive imagination, just out here playing, uh, got a whole band serenading somebody ain't even at home. You hear me? Now, I don't know what it's giving. It's giving Scorpio, I guess. I don't know. So now you have 
what challenges will uh, arise? You got the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So with this uh, Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles, what I'm getting is that there's going to be a lot of opportunities that present, are presented to you, but it's going to be a challenge because there may be blocks in between your intuition and your ego, okay? Um, I also feel that you may not be as emotionally... Um, in tune when it comes to your balancing out your values, really being honest with yourself about it and being weighing the, all of the possibilities of what comes to you and being very curious about how you are out in this world. Because I really feel that there's going to be some opportunities that are presented to you, some messages, some information coming through that is going to be heartwarming. Uh, uh, heartwarming <laughs> it's getting later and later heartwarming here for you but i also feel that um the challenge in all of this is do you say yes because are you going to be resilient what are you fearful of some of you may sway back and forth with yourself and try to go back to the wounded warrior with this nine of wands like this is a test of your faith a test of your strength you made it this far this is the middle of the year this is a huge challenge okay and like i said earlier in one of the other readings things come in a, a certain number you got to figure out your number right these tests these challenges come in a certain number and it's like well, a small one here a small one there and then here's something really nice for you to look at right but um there's gonna be a challenge uh this is gonna test your uh courage this is gonna test your boundaries your spiritual boundaries um this is going to test you know how protected are you really how much are you really working on yourself how much um are you really tired and, and you know that things are, you at the verge of it being over and a breakthrough, or do you curl up and go back to where you were and curl up and go back to the way that you used to be and how you used to be? Or will, again, you be resilient because you got this nine of pentacles in reverse. That's a challenge. I'm not good enough. You're taking yourself back to who you were. You are you are good enough. You are lovable. You, you are worthy of love. You are valuable. You add value to people. And if people can't see that, go where, go where you celebrate it and not tolerate it, right? No matter what it is, you're young and strong the shit, bitch, that's it. You know, your, your, your clients ain't acting right. They're talking about you charging too much. Where go word, your value is appreciated, right? Because you have gone, you, you got all the experience. You've done been doing all the things that you need to, and you are ready to go and take that leap of faith into the unknown, right? Because you had a misalignment of your values. You were working from that space where, oh, it's just a soul, love and light. Just give me $30 um, for each private session, bitch. You taking your mat, they mat. You taking the damn sound bowls. You loading up your car for thirty dollars a session. That don't even make sense, right? It's just a little quick something to look at right there. It don't make sense. What are you doing? So now you are seeing things, but it's like you with this nine of pentacles. It's like you are realizing <clears throat> this is a challenge for you. You've been given too much. Nine of pentacles. You've been doing all the heavy lifting. You've been in that space where uh, you don't want to um, ask for help because, you know, this is the thing that you do. You've been in that space where um, you are afraid to charge your worth and add tax because this is what you were meant to do. Um, you're looking at yourself from a space of where you were when you first started right? Everybody get raises. So now when it comes to love and relationships and relationship you have with yourself, it's time for a raise, baby. They said what they said. Just out here doing all this stuff. It's okay and this and that. And now you're sitting in there uh, with candles because you ain't got no damn lights. Now you got the eight of swords and the magician. I just opened up the middle of the deck. It's the um, negative thoughts with this eight of swords um put yourself in a jailhouse with no damn key you ain't lock yourself up right i know i can get out but you know i just want to be in here like girl grow the fuck up um the magician is here where it's like you need to really realize your true power you need to realize you have everything that you need and take inspired action to make shit happen baby what are you doing i'm playing too much right here all right how can Scorpio thrive in 
My nose is itching. <laughs> itching for a scratch. Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Six of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. Look how these cards crossing up. You can't see them. That's fine. Now, the Knight of Swords, how can you thrive? Stay action oriented. Stay focused. Stay logical. Get out your damn feelings. Make it make sense. Balance it out. Mm? Knight of Swords. Uh, be quick on your feet. Okay. Anytime you, you feel a brain fog, do the things that are necessary for you to come out of that brain fog because that's residual energy sticking to you like that, trying to get you, you know, clamored back up into what it was and who you were in the past. So you need to remain ambitious. You need to remain straightforward. Be mindful of your tongue, of course, but also just really using that intuition to guide you. OK, be sharp with it, because I really feel like you're going to have a heightened awareness next year. And it's like it's all logic, baby. It's all logic. That doesn't make sense. Mm -mm, mm -mm. look at you trying me okay they can try you all they want if they succeed that's on you okay so you need to know what part you play the two of swords is about making difficult decisions um a lot of this is going to come from above is when you come to that crossroads and you you know um really um get in tune with your star player a lot of information is going to come through for you especially when it comes to these creative opportunities that were here in the um, the impact, right? Or the challenges, that page of cups with all of those, you know, intuitive messages coming through. Now you got to make a decision. You got to make a choice. You're weighing up your options and really uh, figuring out what is what, who is who, right? Maybe dealing with a Libra. Maybe a Libra can help you. But it's like, you, um, you don't want to be avoided, okay? So this is how you thrive. You make the difficult decisions by really being in the space where you weigh up your options and then you ask for assistance as well, okay? And you want to make sure that you are trusting yourself because your intuition should be at its peak. And, you know, Scorpios have some intuitive motherfuckers, okay? Now, extremely, okay? I know how everybody is, okay? I got a story about what I need to say about people competing about the gifts. I think people gifts are so fucking beautiful. Can they have a moment? Thank you. Now, you got the six of cups in reverse. To thrive in 2022, you're going to have to leave the past in the past with the six of cups. You're going to have to let shit go, man. If you find yourself, if you know that you are working on letting something go, and then it all of a sudden starts coming up in conversations and you are feeling way down bad all over again, you are beginning to feel it and experience it all over again, you need to really check yourself because that means that you have more work to do because if something comes, it should come to the point where if you're getting over or getting past something, especially if it's a relationship, there are stages right so if you are truly over someone and, you, and they are truly no longer in your energy you're truly no longer con courted or connected with them what happens is you um when they come up right partnerships or what have you when it comes up you don't have anything this way or that way to say about it i don't have anything to say about that or uh, i'm no longer um, in that space because if you feel it in your body you know of course you're not over it right um, unless the person just did some shit that was disgusting as fuck and it's like oh my god every time I think of him I throw up in my mouth a little bit okay so you want to be mindful of that or think of her or what have you but at the end of the day um, this is you um, regretting things so in order for you to thrive in 2022 it's time for you to let shit go and really be honest with yourself as you continue to release it. You got to release certain parts of it, right? It just slowly, you know, you're just biting off pieces as they come up. So you're slowly doing this, but you're also very intentional about not living in the past. You're intentional about um, being joyful and finding happiness in the smallest of things and being, you know, laughing, having you some good belly laughs. Shit. Okay, Scorpio, this is what y'all going to do. You need to make set reminders every three weeks. A set of reminder that, and you ask yourself, bitch, did you laugh? Have you had a better laugh lately? A real good, wholesome belly laugh where your shoulders shake, shake. Your shoulders shake, you cry a little bit. You're really gonna need, to, this is what's going to help you to release this past, uh, the, this past misalignment because you're realizing so much about yourself and and how you even ended up in the space that you were in so now you got to get a real good belly laugh out you got to get a real good 
even that's it. So even when you start to think this is how you'll know, whatever this is that happened in your past that just took you into this space where you had to really realize like, this is not who I am. This is not something I can be a part of. Um, I'm no longer feeling that, right? This is how you really, really know. When this, when this issue comes up and you just like, like, hey, like whatever it is, but I'm just, this is, it's looking like relationships to me. And it's just like, hey, girl, um, you still haven't talked to Charles? Cause you know, it's always that one bitch that want to bring up some shit that you healing from. Like, why are you trying to wound me more, bitch? I, I'm trying to be happy. I'm eating and shit, kicking my feet. And here you come to my, hey, hey, you talked to Charles? So when, uh, instead of in the past, you may have been like, oh no, and can you believe this? And can you believe that? And whoop, whoop and blah, blah, right? Now you're in this space where it's like if the person that you are releasing yourself from or are no longer connected to, and someone brings them up or something reminds you of them, and all you can do is laugh. Like, <laughs> I was dumb as fuck, right? Or like, <laughs> it's like a joyous, like, I am like that. There's no effect. The only response you have to anything about the situation is laughter. Like, man, that shit is crazy. Z, that's how you know because you don't feel no type of way about it just like <laughs> you got to the point where you laughing so hard at yourself like i really let myself go through that that is so corny all right what will scorpio learn about themselves in 2022 who knows y'all what you will learn about yourself is you got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Two of Wands in reverse. Going over your past. That's what reverses are. Something needs your attention. So what will you learn about yourself? You will learn about all the opportunities that may have been presented to you that you may have missed in the past. Things that were, because of your inner misalignment, the disharmony that you had coming into 2022 right over these years you may have missed um missed opportunities because you were planning and you, you, you were setting your plans in the wrong direction you were doing things according to what you thought how you thought you were supposed to do them and that it was revealed to you that's not how this goes um there's a lot of imbalance here scorpios y'all must have a lot of libra y'all must be some cuspers or something it can scorpio and libra cusp i don't know I don't know, but y'all got a lot of Libra. That's what I feel like here, Chad. But with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, what um, you will really learn about yourself here is that you you have, it wasn't that you couldn't do things um, on your own. Okay, this, let me make it make sense for you because I'm, I'm hearing it baffles. It wasn't that you couldn't do things on your own or you had a lack of, it was more about your lack of planning right? Because I feel like you did something traditional that shouldn't have been done in a traditional way because apparently the person or the situation that you were in wasn't very as traditional as you probably thought. You know how people get married and be like, oh, and he's going to do this for them and she's going to do this. And, and then you get some years down the line and it's like, okay, a lot of shit changed. This person ain't who they said they were. And that's fucked up. And you didn't have no planning. You didn't have, you don't, you don't know where your standing is, right? Um, there's some work home conflict that you are realizing about yourself that when it comes to your homework balance with this queen of pentacles in reverse, when it comes to how much you give to one over the other, what is being neglected, right? And what is being respected? Where is the balance in that? With this ace of wands, it really feels like um, you're learning about that lack of direction, that lack of being focused on what matters right and not what clatters because things that clatter because I don't think that's a word but I really like the way it sounds okay so things that clatter are just noise right so it's like um you're realizing things that were delayed they were protection for you but then you're also realizing that the delays um didn't have you didn't miss out on certain opportunities because of everything that happened you missed out on opportunities because you had a lack of direction you see but now you are figuring it out you're fixing it up and you're making it cute and putting a bow on it with some glitter whatever and red lipstick now two of wands in reverse 
this um, is really giving that inner misalignment, right? Being spiritually conflicted. Um, you may have done some things that you wouldn't normally do in your life, right? And now you are realizing, man, that's lack of planning too. Um, you're realizing this is a lot of self-discovery. This is a lot of um, being, being fearful. I think I missed opportunities three times. Being fearful because you were trying to make one thing all magnificent and perfect and disregarding another thing. And there was a lot of fear involved. There's a lot of um, fear of losing, losing someone or something if you took an opportunity, right? A, there was a fear, but also, yeah, and it was like it was, it was, it was misplaced, misguided, jealousy and regret, feeling the blues. The blues is depression, sorrow, sadness, surprised by it all. My goodness, this what you learned about yourself. You can't. Re you can't. What, what is a regret? It may have to do with money. What's the what's the purpose of this uh, regret? What is the purpose of regret? Think about that. Regret is a lack mentality. Shit, you did the best you could with the information that was provided for you. I wish I could have did it this way because, well, if you knew better, you'll do better. I don't, what's that regret? I sure hate I did that like that. I, I sure hate that, you know, things happen the way that they happen. Do you really hate that it, I don't like people say that. Do you really hate that it happened like that? Do you really feel bad about it happening like that? Sit your ass down. Shoot. But there's going to be some kind of surprise about some money here when you are feeling down. So there's going to be a lot of that in 2022, right? When you are feeling down, you're going to have, and this, and, and that's a that's a measure of that's a test. Um, that's a test of that home life, that home work balance, you see. Um, because apparently you were neglecting the home for the money or something like that. So now you are going to see that when you are down and out and thinking this, that, and the other about you need to be paying attention to this, doing that, and this and that, and you still get blessed because you're doing a lot of shadow work, but it's not, it doesn't look like shadow work to you because you're over there thinking that you're feeling sorry for yourself, but it's really your soul letting you know and allowing you to mourn what was. Okay.